Hi Leo, it's Power and Light Tarot coming at you with your love reading. This is your love reading devotion or deception, okay? Hopefully it is the first one. This is for the first week of March. Um, yeah, we're almost into March, guys, and we're almost into spring. Okay. <laughs> so before I begin, I would like to say thank you so much to all uh, the subscribers and the comments, the likes, the shares, and the personal readings, okay, guys? Thank you very much for all that, okay? And um, if you're new here, welcome in. And uh, the bottom of the deck, Leo, was the, let's see, the death card and the two of cups in the reverse. I feel like there's definitely a breakup here. There's an ending. I also have the death card over here, okay? You could also be dealing with a Scorpio, okay? But let's get into the reading and uh, see here, okay? Now, your current energy is the nine of cups and the three of wands, uh, Leo, the Knight of Cups is the Wish card. I feel like you're waiting for your ships to come in with somebody, okay? There's somebody who is a wish to you, your wish come true, you know, you the person you really want here, okay? This could also be talking about third-party energy. Uh, unfortunately, as soon as we, you know, enter the reading with the when the Three of Wands shows up. But let's find out which one it is, okay? Um, now... What you desire, Leo, the judgment card is here again, okay? Is it again? No, it's here the, for the first time. Beg your pardon. So the judgment card is here. I feel like you want to make a decision here. You could be also, you know, maybe wanting to make a decision about offering a second chance to somebody, okay? The moon card is here with the wheel of fortune here and the judgment card. You could be trying to decide between two people. That could be the case here. They One person could be a water sign, Pisces, Cancer, or Scorpio with the moon card, and the other person could be a Sagittarian. That could be what's going on here, okay? Um, you know, you could also be trying to make a decision here uh, for change, and it could be involving a secret here. This is really interesting, okay? Or you could be making a decision here, possibly about a second chance here. Um, but you want change. That could be the case here. But let's find out as we get more into the reading. I'm going to get one more card on that judgment card, okay? Clarify the judgment card. Why would Leo want judgment? Why does Leo want judgment, please? We have the three of swords in the reverse. Okay, so yeah, there was. there's definitely third-party energy here. You know, I feel like you are wanting to come out of this, you know, this Three of Swords energy, which is pain from heartbreak. It can be from a third party. I think it is. Um, I think this is about a secret, too, okay, with the Three of Swords down here on the moon here. I think you're trying to make a decision here. Possibly, uh, you know, as I mentioned, between uh, a water sign and a fire sign, but this could just be that you are trying to make a decision about a secret. The secret could be a Sagittarian. Let's get into the reading and uh, and put the story together, all right? The Eight of Wands is in the reverse here. This is how you're seeing your person. This is delays. It could be blockages, okay, uh, to a new beginning, to, you know, to end something and begin something, okay? Definitely that is the case here because the death card is with it and the world card is an ending and a new beginning as well, like a new cycle, okay? Now their current energy is the Ten of Wands in the reverse. So they're putting a burden down or they at least uh, so desire, okay? The Ace of Pentacles is here with it and the King of Swords in the reverse. Huh. So, you could be, I feel like this person you're dealing with is putting down a burden to have a new start here. They could see value, oh, this is the Ace of Pentacles, I'm sorry. Yes, a new beginning. They are putting a burden down to have a new beginning. And you're seeing them over here as, you know, uh, ending a cycle and beginning a new cycle. So this makes sense here. They are uh, putting a burden down here. Uh, and wanting a new beginning here, or having one, okay? But I feel like they maybe they're having a hard time making a decision about it with the King of Swords in the reverse here. Um, it is, you know, either deception, deceptive energy, or it is, you know, somebody who can't make a decision, right? The King of Swords in the reverse can be like a wishy-washy type of guy. 
who really can't make a decision, you know. So, yeah, this is really interesting here. Now, the Knight of Swords is here. Um, this is more, you know, air energy here. Uh, Ari, um, I'm sorry, Gemini, Libra, or Aquarius. But I feel like this is what they want. I feel like they want to cut something out. And it is with the Five of Cups. They want to cut something out that has made them sad here. Okay? But it looks like they're having a hard time making a decision here. Okay? Now, they're seeing you, Leo, as the Tower. Okay? With the King of Wands. This is you. The King of Wands showing up. Okay? Um, and the King of Wands in this deck looks like this guy. Okay? And it's with the tower. They're seeing, you know, they're seeing you possibly as being the tower or, you know, going through a tower moment. Let's see how, how else they're viewing you. Uh, why does Leo's person see them as the king of wands? Why does Leo's person see them as the king of wands, please? The empress. Okay, so... They could be with an empress, uh, or you could be with an empress, okay? Uh, you know, you're having a tower moment right now, Leo. This is how they are seeing you, um, possibly because they have an empress, or you do, okay? So let's go on with the reading here. Now, the empress can be any passionate uh, person. The empress is passionate and abundant energy, bringing things to fruition, right? Making things happen, Um but it can also be, you know, it can be somebody pregnant, okay? Um, yeah, the Empress can be pregnant because she's giving birth, right? Which is abundance and bringing things or a child, right? A life to fruition here. Um, yeah, but they're definitely seeing you as, you know, in a tower moment, somewhat attached to or somewhat involved with an Empress. Uh, not sure whether they have the Empress or you do, okay? So we're going to get into that here. Um, but I do feel like you are making a decision possibly about a secret up here, okay? Yeah, okay. Now, yeah, and they are unable to make a decision down here. Super interesting, okay? Now, um, the past dynamic is the Justice card, the Two of Pentacles, and the Nine of Swords. I feel like, you know... This can talk about somebody could have got their justice here in the past here, and that, that's why there may be an ending here with a death card uh, at the bottom of the deck, and also how you are seeing them here. Um, they could have, you know, got their justice because they were juggling here, because the Nine of Swords is here, and this is sad. Uh, this is, it is sad. It's worried, sad energy, you know, where, gee, you know, what am I going to do here? The, you know, the sky is falling type of energy. Um, and, you know, somebody could be losing sleep over the situation here, okay? Somebody in the past, one of you guys could have been um, trying to juggle a decision, though, about how to bring justice to the matter here. That could, you know, be, uh, that could be going on here, okay? Because both of you guys are trying to make a decision here, all right? And, um... Yeah, I am going to be going to do the extended on Vimeo, uh, Leo, and I'm going to be talking about the current dynamic, what is challenging your union, what they may be hiding, the best case scenario, and the outcome, okay, Leo, and the extendeds for all of them, if you want to crosswatch, are only $8.99, and if you need a personal, you can get one for only $22. Thank you so much.